Hi guys, my name's Lauren and today I'm going to be grooming the lovely Ruby here. I start off every groom by bathing and then drying my dogs. I use the big blow dryer to get most of the wetness off and then I go in with a hair dryer and a brush. And this gets the hair really nice and fluffy, ready to be clipped. Now she's all dry, let's get started with the grooming. So first off, I will cut the dog's nails. Uh, really, really careful when cutting dog's nails. Let's just take the edges off. If they're clear, it's so much easier. But if they're black, let's just take the ends off. And then I go in with a file just to take off any sharp edges. Next, I'll go in with my bull nose scissors and I will trim all the hair off the feet. You just want to trim the hair level with the pads until it looks like this. Today, Ruby is going nice and short for winter, so I'm going to be using my Master Clip A5 Roma Clippers and a 7 blade. First off, I like to do a little cl cleanliness area, so I sh shave off underneath on a, on a 7 blade. I do this on every groom. So when using your clippers, you want to have them flat against the dog's body at all times. Don't go in at an angle because this will create a really choppy look. And you just want to keep a nice even pressure. To sort of just use the weight of the clippers against the dog's body and that should be more than enough. And just keep it nice and even and always follow the direction of the coat. Just to avoid getting any ugly marks in the coat and just to be able to get a nice smooth clip. Ruby does usually have a skirt, but I'm not doing that today. Her owners want her nice and short for the winter because she's just getting really wet and really smelly in between grooms. Moving on to the legs, it's the same again. Just keep a nice even pressure. Make sure your blade is flat against the dog's, dog's body at all times and just follow the contours of the leg. Don't be afraid to pick up the dog's leg as well just to get to those harder reach places. I always find that with the feet, when you're doing it nice and short, it's always good to just use a slicker brush and brush the hair up so you can get a nice close cut on the feet, just to get a really nice tidy looking foot. Moving on to the head now, I'm keeping with the seven blade and I'm just going to, again, follow the direction of the hair. On the head, this is really important because it is very easy to put choppy lines into the dog's head if, you just, if you're not following the direction of the hair properly. When it comes to clipping a Cocker Spaniel's muzzle, I do like to go against the hair just to get a really close shave. And doing this underneath as well, just be really careful of the folds of the skin. And if you have to, just stretch the skin out just so you're not catching any skin between the blades. Moving on to the ears now, I'm going to comb the ears through to make sure there's no tats or any knots in them. And then I'm going to feel with my thumb and finger where the end of the actual ear is before cutting to be sure that I'm not going to cut the dog's ear. I'm using my curved scissors on Ruby's ears just to get that really nice shape and then just going in and double checking to make sure I haven't missed any long bits of hair. Next I'm going to take my straight scissors and I'm just going to tidy up the feet. Just lightly pull out any long bits of hair and then just snip them off level with the foot so you get a really neat looking foot. And then trimming off any long bits around the edge of the foot also. And lastly, I'm going to be doing Ruby's tail. I'll just comb this out first just to make sure there's no knots in the tail and then I will just trim at a nice curved angle. Here she is finished and looking very cute. She's ready to go and jump in all the muddy puddles now. Thanks for watching.